Now we're going to put the squeeze theorem to use to find limits of sequences. So let's, let's say we're trying to find out the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So, uh, so the idea is to trap this. The idea, the idea is to trap this between two things. So if you look at, if you look at this here, sine, sine of n will look something like this. The highest value that this could be is 1. The lowest value that this could be is negative 1. So the highest value of this thing could be is positive 1. And the lowest it could be is negative 1. So you take it out here. So, uh, so, so this thing here, this thing here is always trapped between here and here. So now take the limit, sorry. So now take the limit of all three. Take the limit, take the limit as n tends to infinity. So, um, so, so this, uh, this negative here is a constant. So take it out here. And then, uh, and then that will then give you this. Oh, I forgot. Hang on. So, uh, so that will then be as n, as, uh, as n tends to infinity. Um, so, so, uh, so, 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 hang on. So, uh, take the limit of this, take the limit of this, take the limit of this. That, that will then take you to here. Now, as, uh, as n tends to infinity, one over a very very big number. This whole thing here is going to go to zero, and then this thing here is going to go to zero. So you've got negative zero, which is zero. So we don't know what this thing would do, but we know it's always trapped in between here, in between zero and zero as n tends to infinity. So this thing here will have no choice but also to have a limit of zero. So uh, so the limit of uh, of sine n over n is zero. Okay, so next next example. So let's say we're trying to find out the limit of this. So the limit of this, hang on. So we so the idea is to track this in between two things. So if if you look at um, if you look at this graph here, it will two to the power of n will look something like this. Uh, so so this here is one, and then if if you look at this uh, y equals n, let's say this is n, this here is y. So y equals n is a diagonal line here. So you can see that the uh, this thing here, you can see that this denominator here will always be bigger than than this than this denominator here. So uh, so this thing here will always be bigger than this. Um, well, if if the denominator is bigger than this denominator, then 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 when you're dividing a bigger denominator, then the overall thing will be smaller. Than this thing here, so so this thing here will, will be smaller or equal to to this thing here, and then if you look at this here, y uh, y to the power of n will look like this. Um, as n tends towards infinity, this thing here will, will 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 be a number that keeps on growing. This number will keep on growing, but it will never reach zero. It will never reach zero because if if, if you look at this thing here, e, as n tends uh, as n gets very very big. This thing here is going to be very, very big. Let's say 999, but it's still going to be above zero. It's, going to, it's still going to be above zero. So, so this thing is trapped in between this and this. So now take the limit of uh, of all three. Take the limit of all three. So the limit of this as n tends to infinity will be zero. Uh, this will be zero. So we don't know what what this will do, but we do know that it's always trapped in between here and here as n tends to infinity. Therefore, this. This will have no choice but also to have the same limit as these two because it's always trapped in between the two. So the limit of this will be zero. So next example. So let's say uh, let's say this thing here. The we, we we don't know what this sequence would do. So the idea is to trap it in between two things. Well, if you look at this here, this thing here is just going to it's going to be negative one one negative one one negative one one and so on so this thing here will always be trapped in between here and here so now take the limit of uh, of all three so take the limit of this take the limit of this take the limit of this as n tends to infinity this negative here is a constant negative one so take it out so uh, so as as n tends to infinity you can see that this thing here is going to head towards zero so this thing here will be will be zero and then as n tends to infinity this whole thing here will be zero so you've got minus zero minus zero is really zero so uh, so we don't know what this thing would do but it's always trapped in between zero and zero so uh, so it has no choice but to be zero as n tends to infinity so the limit of this will be zero okay